Okay, so I tested the ROMs, I tested the RAMs, I tested everything I could test. I thought maybe that that 82, uh, 80, was it 8522? Whatever the PIO chip or whatever that thing was. I thought that was bad, I replaced that. Um, I put in a logic probe and I, 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 I probed a lot of things. And what I discovered was that the microprocessors, a strange microprocessor, I've never been around one before, it's an 8608. And the 8608, when it wakes up, it goes out and it looks at addresses FFFE and FFFF to find the jump location. And then it goes there and executes the code. Well, when I put the logic probe on the um, A15 address line, when the microprocessor reset, the microprocessor never asserted, asserted A15. It never fetched anything from A15. So it just seemed wrong to me. So as a latch dis, latch dis ditch effort, um, I figured, well, maybe the microprocessor is bad. Now, in my life, I've never seen a microprocessor go bad. <laughs> never. Um, so uh, I guess this is the first time for everything. But I did find, so the, the 80, 8608s are super hard to find. I did find some guy, I think it was in Hong Kong, who had some 80... To ha had a couple parts and I bought them, expected them to be fake. No, <laughs> um, and uh, I got them today, and um, they looked uh, they looked new, but been around the block. Um, so, uh, but they but they look okay. So uh, that's the that's this one here, and this is the one that I pulled out. I put a red dot on it because it is bad. It is bad. So I, I got two of these. Um, and uh, yeah, it's bad. So let me show you the front panel now. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. So the only thing that was wrong with this meter was the microprocessor went dead. I have no idea why. Um, but it seems to, that was it. Everything else seemed to be fine. Um, so, does it work? <laughs> Is it a voltmeter? Uh, so, it's got a kind of a funny configuration in the front. If you want to do DC, you put it this way. If you want to do AC, you put it that way. And there's an option board. Uh, Keith always had these option boards for AC. This does not have the option board. So, it will only do DC. Uh, let's see here. Let me get out of or source of DC, my little uh, standard here. Ah, sorry. Look at there. Look at that. <laughs> it works. Uh, it should be 2.4446. So uh, 250. Yeah, it's pretty close. Let's see here. This one's supposed to be. 4.9991. Okay. And this one's supposed to be 4.96. I mean, uh, I'm sorry. 7.496. Okay. And 9.9952. So, I mean, <laughs> it hasn't been cowled in a while. <laughs> so, that seems to work just fine. Um, we can also test resistance. Let's see, here, let's go into resistance and uh, let's get out of some test resistors here. And uh, let's clip onto one of them. There you go, 100 ohms. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. All right, let's keep going. These are 0.01% resistors, so uh, these are very accurate resistors that I'm clipping onto. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, oh my gosh, perfect. This thing hasn't even warmed up. I mean, I just turned it on, just got back from dinner. 
overflow. Did I not clip onto that right? Let's see here, what's going on? These leads are kind of crusty here on my... Oh, overflow, I have the uh, button pressed. Yeah, there you go. I can push, push it onto, onto auto, I guess, that'll help. That looks great, and 10, let's see if it'll do 10 mega ohms. Look at that. This thing's spot on <laughs> after all those years and a bad microprocessor. So yeah, I'm really, really happy. Um, anyway, I thought I'd do a quick video tonight and um, show you that the thing is working. So uh, do I calibrate it? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's pretty darn good. The voltage calibration seems to be off. That resistance calibration is spot on. And I would think the two are related, but I don't know. Let me let me show you the inside. So here's a bunch of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight adjustments here. Nine, ten, and there's one more down here. Eleven. So eleven potentiometers to twiddle. <laughs> um, yeah. So think what I'm going to do though is put the uh, put the uh, shielding back on it um, yeah let's uh, let's take a look at this is that in focus can you can you read that yeah so the uh, adjustments I guess are a million V of oh, volts DC so thousand twenty oh and then there's uh, resistance ranges 2k 0.2K, 2K, 20K, and 200K. So those are all spot on. So maybe 2,000K, 20 meg ohm. Yeah, those, all of those are great. It's maybe just the um, voltage adjustment, or maybe this is as good as the meter gets. I don't know. Anyway, I uh, definitely want to put the uh, shield back on it. Uh, it's totally adjustable with the, uh, with the shield on. All of the uh, potentiometers are out in the open, so... Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's see. That goes there. And that goes there. Now, where does this thing go? I don't want that to short out anything. Where in the hell does that go? Heck. <laughs> That's really strange. I guess it goes down in here like this. Yep. It has some insulating on it, so there we go. Shields back on. Yeah, maybe I just need to let it warm up. So uh, maybe tomorrow I'll uh, I'll go ahead and let it warm up for a couple hours and uh, do some uh, tests against my six and a half digit voltmeters and see how this one does. This is the six and a half digit voltmeter, so. Hopefully we can get them to all agree within a couple millivolts, microvolts, microvolts, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, I'm very, very pleased to have a working meter again. <laughs>